how will you know that a person needs cpr what are the steps of cpr and when to stop giving cpr giving cpr to a conscious person can result into broken ribs aspirations lung and chest injuries and injuries to many abdominal organs check for the scene safety check for the responsiveness of patient through gently tapping if he or she has responded well and good but if not call for the help inform the nearby hospital and check the central pulse open the patient's airway through head tilt and chin lift maneuver lean towards the patient and listen to the breaths and see the chest movements if the patient doesn't have any pulse if the patient is breathing abnormally if the patient is gasping it is a sign that you should start cpr lay the patient on the back interlock your hands with fingers and keep them on the center of the patient's chest and start the compressions compressions should be 5 to 6 cm deep and its rate should be 100 to 120 compressions per minute Make sure that you give adequate time for elastic recoil of the chest. For every 30 compressions, make sure that you give two rescue breaths. Continue this cycle.